My op-ed today over at HeartMyReport.com is titled, Is the Right to Contraception About to End in America? And uh, here's, the, here's the, the, the story in a nutshell. The lawyer who was, uh, you know, one of the people who helped write the Texas legislation, what was it, what would you call it, the, uh, the, the abortion vigilante legislation. Um, the, the lawyer who helped write that has now, in, has now launched a lawsuit against the, uh, against the uh, Title 10 in the state of Texas. I, uh, just to step into the Wayback Machine for a minute. Back in the 1970s, back in 1970, in fact, to this, the, the third year, second year of the Nixon administration, um, Richard Nixon signed into law Title 10. And one of the provisions of Title 10 is a, a grant, a block grant program where the federal government sends money to individual states and the states then um, hire a contractor basically within that state to administer the money. And uh, in, the, in the state of Texas, it's a, an organization called Everybody Lives, or Everybody's Lives, excuse me. And that, that and, and then they distribute the money. Uh, it's going out to, as I recall, like 150 some odd, hang on just a minute, I've, I've got it in my article. Um, 150 some odd, uh, or yeah, uh, 156 clinics through 32 agencies. And that money is used to provide confidential contraception to people of all ages, including people of any age. There's no age limit on this. And so, uh, although the, the reality is that they won't serve people under 15, um, but uh, generally speaking. But the, the lawsuit was by a father of two daughters who didn't want his daughters to have access to contraception, and he didn't want them to be able to walk into a free clinic paid for through Title, title 10 money and get the contraceptives without his knowing about it. And so, you know, he's the guy on whose behalf this lawyer sued. And guess what? They found a lawyer in Texas, or excuse me, a judge in Texas, a federal judge, a federal district judge. He was appointed by Donald Trump in 2019 who said, yeah, you're right, uh, the, the, these teenage kids, they should not be able to get contraceptives. And so as of, and this, and this kind of slipped by everybody's radar screen because it happened the week of Christmas. It happened a week ago. And uh, it, it is now illegal in Texas to use Title X money to provide contraceptives to teenagers. And you can bet, you know, this is, by the way, this is going to go to, it's being appealed, and it'll go to the Fifth Circuit Court, which is the uh, the court, you know, from Texas halfway over toward Florida. It's one of the more conservative courts in the country, and it's going to go to the Fifth Circuit Court, where it will be um, probably they, they'll probably agree with it. And if they do, then it'll be appealed again, and it'll go to the Supreme Court. And you got six wackadoodles on the Supreme Court right now, um, so. I mean, there's only one major institution in the United States that's opposed to birth control altogether, and that's the Catholic Church. Um, uh, that said, there are a fair number of people who are opposed to birth control. Um, there's a psychologist, uh, Dr. Marty Klein, who wrote a piece about this for Psychology Today a few years back, and, and he said there's basically four reasons why people are opposed to birth control. Uh, fundamentalist religions fear sexual pleasure, which birth control facilitates. Contraception effectively limits family size, empowering women. Contraception promotes personal autonomy, making women more likely to challenge male authority. And birth control may make abortion more acceptable to society. And so here we are. It has begun. You know, to paraphrase Pastor Niemöller, first they came for our, our abortion rights, now they're coming for our birth control rights. And this is just the first step. So, you know, expect to see more of this as this uh, proceeds. But I, I just wanted to flag this and put it on your radar screen. I, I am convinced most Americans have no idea that a federal court last week ruled that teenagers can't have access to contraception paid, paid for with Title X money in Texas. We'll be right back. It's 27 minutes past the hour. Pick up your phone calls. Uh, see how we're going.